out, rinse uh, public water out. Why you put it in there? No, you just can't. No. I have to get some stronger stuff. They have it so far. What's up, bro? What's good with you? What's going on, sis? You know it. Show your side of him. <laughs> peace, peace. What's going on, guy? How the Sunday doing? Y'all doing on this lovely Sunday? Y'all gonna have to excuse me. I got my notes everywhere. But please bear with me. I promise you it's going to make sense. <laughs> it's just how I be writing. It just be coming. I have to just write. And I'm finding papers. Girl. I just got mine sitting down right now eating. Hopefully they'll eat and chill out. But you know, that food will be fuel for them. Charge them right all up. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. But yeah, yeah, I got a few things to drop and some notifications I need to put out for the group. <coughs> what? He locked you out the bathroom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <coughs> All right, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start at. We're going to use that. And I'll probably sit this in somewhere with the DNA. All right, yeah. Yeah, it's all good, though. Hey, kids, they play so damn much. And... But anyway, y'all, I'm going to start. Um, first of all, if y'all haven't seen the movie um, 
needle in the time stack. Let me see if I can put it in the um, comments. If y'all haven't seen this movie, check it out. Needle in the time stack. Because this is going to go neck and neck what I'm going to be talking about tonight, okay? <clears throat> and I know you can find it on the Fire Stick. I don't know if it's on Netflix or anything like that, but I know if you Google, it'll tell you, you know, where it's at, where you can watch it at. Hey, what's going on, goddess? So, check out Needle in the Time Stack, Okay. Now, I'm going to start off with um, the twin flame symbolism. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my stage going. My cam, my um, smoke. It's going to keep going out on me. Anyway, okay. But um, I'm going to break down the twin flame symbolism, um, what I got. And if y'all want to chime in, you can chime in. You know, you can even dive in on the live call. It's whatever, you know. We're going to build tonight. But um, I know, you know, starting off in our journey, as always, you know, we have to reach back down to the foundation of all and gain the concepts of every experience that we have endured in this journey on a higher perspective, which is going to bring in a more balanced frequency within yourself. Okay. So I know at the beginning of a lot of uh, our journey of, you know, becoming conscious, aware, you know, of self, um, which as they would call the awakening as well, you know, waking up. We consider the ten, twin flames as just being someone that we are physically attracted to. I'm going to say it that way. Because we didn't dive into the spiritual concept all the way. Um, of course, you have to have a physical attraction with all relationships. Whether it's a spouse, a partner. Um, a friend, a best friend, a family member, um, or anyone that you have came in connection to in your in this journey during your experiences, okay? You do have to have the physical attraction. But what I'm trying to get to, well, I'm just going to say it, that the twin flame is more than just a spouse attraction, okay? It's more than... Uh, a lover attraction. It's more than your forever, okay? As we were saying, our relationships, dealing with a spouse, a partner, okay? And I'm going to dive more into the word partner as well as we continue to go on down with this. But we got the physical concept, the spiritual concept dealing with the twin flames. On all level, dealing with all reflections, including self, okay? You have to be, as we've said before, we've all probably crossed in the same frequency right now of loving yourself, um, self-healing, and self-love, okay? Self-acceptance. You have to have all of these um, aspects when moving or tools when moving forward in your journey, because this is what's going to attract those on the same frequency with you, okay? Those that you're going to walk with, whether it's for a season or is mainly for the reason of the journey for you to elevate, to push forward, okay? And most likely when you have a strong connection with someone, what in the world? <laughs> okay. When you have a strong connection with someone, um, let's say, for instance, a mate. Um, this mate not only should have just a physical attraction in your relationship, 
y'all should have the spiritual connection, which is the energy connection, meaning you connect mind, body, and soul, okay? Your frequency balance each other out. Well, your energies balance each other out, okay? Um, as the great elders would say, you're never really going to date somebody like you. You're going to find somebody that's just for you that's going to be able to handle you. And that's dealing with you as a whole, okay? They're going to know how to maneuver around you in your journey, okay? So that's the same thing that we endure in relationships dealing with friendships or best friends or with our family members, okay? Siblings, parents, and all, okay? They know how to maneuver around us. They know how to connect to us on a deeper level to gain the understanding, which is the balance that we have between each other, the mutual connection, okay? And, of course, we are physically attracted to a best friend, not in a sexual way, you know, to a family member, not in a sexual way, okay? To your sibling, not in an affectionate way, okay? That means that you have an attraction to them because they get you, okay? They understand you. Um, you make them feel good or they make you feel good. They know how to uplift you, okay? All these aspects that we will look for and even love you, okay? You can cry on their shoulders, all of this. Even when it's dealing with a partnership in a relationship, dealing with a spouse, okay? So this twin flame... It's not only just a physical attraction of a partner, your soulmate, because we are each other's soulmates, or you are your own soulmate, put it that way, okay? And we, contract, we connect to many souls, which is many reflections of self, okay? Whether it's to gain a lesson, or is someone that's a part of the foundation, okay? Or your tribe, as we would say. So, when I was receiving this, uh, this download, okay, I was seeing the DNA and how it operates and how it circulates in these bodies, okay? And how... Energy circulates, meaning, you know, it goes around. It never stays in one spot, okay? Meaning you might elevate from someone that you deal with in your journey, okay? And whether it's a stronger bond, which is part of your foundation, or somebody that's a part of a lesson, you still have this connection with that person because of the elevation, okay? And you, we move around in the circulation of this bloodstream of the DNA, okay? And it comes back full circle as well, okay? Starting off where you left off or your beginning, okay? So you will be in connection with these same reflections each experience, okay? Some of those are going to be your true twin flames. And that's not just a relationship status, dealing with male and female, okay? Some of them will be your twin flame because of the frequency that y'all have, okay? The connection, the part of the foundation. When you meet them, you will always feel familiar with this person. No matter what suit or reflection they are in at the moment, you will still have that strong connection in each journey, okay? That energy will be familiar to you, all right? So... You're going to need both of these connections, spiritual and physical, okay, to uphold a connection in all relationships that you endure in your experience, okay? Some of them will be the twin flames that will continue to walk with you through this journey because even though it's a self-journey, you still are going to be connected to a twin flame or a part of your foundation that's going to help you get up out of the experiences that you're enduring in your journey 
to move forward, um, whether it's helping you to motivate you to move forward or get up out of something to find your worth. Peace, sis. Okay? So... <clears throat> this is basically this is an electric sensation all right the love connection all right now i'm gonna get back to this dna like i said my notes are everywhere i tried to keep them in order <laughs> but um they just kind of got out of order y'all so, when we're tapping into this DNA, all right, remember, you have a certain tribe that you've always connected to in each experience, that you've walked with in every experience, okay? You have the same tribe, okay? And even in different elevations, you gain a part of a tribe that has not been in connection with you or has been in connection with you, but just hadn't had the strong or connection than you have had with the other parts of your tribe, okay? But you walk with these same reflections each experience, all right? You walk with all of them that you've had many experiences with. But anyway, when we're tapping into these energies, or multiple energies within ourselves, which is also a part of this experience when we connect with the one another. We're tapping into, we're liable to tap into the DNA. And as I was seeing the DNA, like I was saying, you know, the circulation of the blood going on in the body and how it, you know, it circulates, but it still circulates back to one to 360 to restart the reset, okay? I was seeing the script, okay, that we have played out in many experiences, all right? Same reflections, the same energy. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome, sis. You know, the same, the same experiences, the same energy, all right? Just a different reflection, a different image, all right? We're tapping into the script. We're, trapping into the, we're tapping into the journey, all right? And if you look up, let me see if I want to break this down. Or do I want to move on to the next one? I'm going to go ahead and start from this. What, baby? Huh? What light? They passed the light. Well, maybe they, they'll pass back over here so I can see them. I, didn't, I missed it. Um, if you look up, dealing with the DNA in the physical aspect, if you look up the normal count of chromosomes, and each being, it would say it's 46, all right? It would say it's 46. 23 from each male and female, which is the masculine and feminine energy, okay? 23 is 5, all right? So we know 5 is dealing numer um, with numerology, it's dealing with your love, the love frequency that we're walking right now, um, your balance, okay? Starting a new beginning, the shift, okay, to completion, all right? Elevation, um, self-love, self-acceptance, accountability, all these things to take you to a higher perspective of gaining your completion, all right? So you got these 23 chromosomes <clears throat> from each male and female, all right? They have to be balanced, all right, to be able to produce or to create, all right? And if you put these numbers together, you get 46, all right? And we already know 46 is 10. We were just talking about that, becoming the completion 
All right, the shift to your new beginning, the shift to oneness, the restart, the reset. Okay. The uh, the um, revelations. Okay, of self. All right, and in a common form of this chromosomes, the forty six is a trisomy, trisomy, and it's the um, extra chromosome in the cells. All right, and the tri we know means three. And those which try have three copies of a particular chromosome and cells self instead of two copies. All right? Meaning they have three different aspects. Okay? Copies, reflections. Okay? Images of self dealing with a particular chromosome in a cell, which is yourself, instead of you just having two copies. All right? The masculine and feminine. Those who most likely have these chromosomes, the trisomy, 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 um, which is an extra chromosome in the cell versus two copies, you have three copies, all right? These beings tend to be a little bit more enlightened, um, self-awareness, they awaken. And we all can have this ability, okay, dealing with the spiritual aspect of our energy, okay? We all can have this, this aspect, okay? And it's all about bringing in balance with your masculine and your feminine energy, all right? Also, going back to twin flames, your twin flames also is a symbolism from the masculine and feminine energy in self, okay? When it comes to the serpent, all right? When it comes to the serpent. All right, and I got some more about that little serpent, too. And mostly those who have these extra chromosomes that's being, um, that's being projected out into the experience would be those labeled as, you know, children with Down syndrome, which I already see those children in a higher perspective. They come in as love. They come in as oneness. They they don't have any judgment. They are the pure, delicate flower here in the experience, okay? Down syndrome, they have one that's an Edward, Edward syndrome and a Pate, a Pate syndrome. These syndromes all deal with the three chromosomes that's projected out, okay? Meaning they're projected out as an image in the experience, okay, that we all already have inside of us okay all you have to do is to look at a child or a reflection of that image that's being projected out in our experience to gain that one is the understanding of yourself to feel that energy that they're already projecting out that you have within yourself which is a connection all right Well, just go in your room and shut your door. You can just do that. All right. So, if these children, what the world? JCI. <laughs> he locked it down. <laughs> Crazy stuff. These children automatically have this energy, okay? Which gives um, you, like I said, a more complex understanding of what we already have inside of us, dealing with the oneness, you know, the balance, the love frequency, all right? And we all have experienced this level of energy. Love of energy in a past life or one another, okay? So, you've already had this connection feeling. Okay? Jason, chill out. You've already had this connection, okay? Whether it's with someone you walked with in your tribe in a past life or even now. Or spouse, okay? Um, your children, your parents, okay? You've already had this connection, all right? 
<clears throat> so when you see these children, you feel this connection automatically, okay? It's almost like a self, uh, what is it, uh, perseverance, okay, that you're looking at about yourself, okay? And it's giving you a reminder of what that energy is or, you know, giving you a, 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 a twinkle, okay, or a little, you know, just a little spark, a little, you know, to let remind you of what love really is. You've had this experience with multiple beings and multiple experiences. So when you connect to these twin flames, you know, throughout each experience, all right, this connection gets stronger and stronger. All right. So it's really no coincidence when you really come in connection with these twin flames. All right. Because the energy is different. The energy is stronger. OK. And you notice that this is no familiar energy. I mean, this is a familiar energy. All right. No stranger, you know, to your journey. It's something about this person. Okay, as I was just saying, it's always have been a twinkle in the energy to get on a higher energy and to balance, to bring forth an elevation within you in the journey. All right. So in each experience that we have been, which is multiple, it's, you can't count. Okay. Yes, you have the intense, you know, the intense feeling when you connect with those twin flames. Okay. Um, so in each journey that we've had, which is countless experiences, okay, in this one journey, all right, to get to where we're at now, all right, <clears throat> your energy or energy period has been building itself up over the course of experiences, okay, to get back to the reset, to get back to the balance of things, to get back to the oneness of all, okay, the love frequency overall, period. So each experience we've been learning, which this is an elementary school, okay? This experience, okay? Your elements becomes your, your, um, what you call it? Um, your morals, your knowledge, your wisdom, Okay, what to not to do. Okay, so we've had these experiences multiple times and each experience, this energy builds up and it's built up. And where we at right now, we are really connecting to our twin flames. All right. Outside of just a mate. All right. That sexual energy outside of that, we are connecting to our tribe, you know, bringing back uh, a more solidarity and balance foundation, okay, stemming from all of us, period, all right, so energy has been building and building, each time we learn, each time we gain the wisdom, the knowledge, the keys, all right, this energy takes a shift to a major level, now we have shifted to the more love frequency, um, Restoring the heart, restoring your energy, all right? Restoring the mind, all right? Restoring your experience, which is going to create a new world, which is a new walk in all of us, okay? But it's up to you to be able to, to have, you know, connect with those connections within yourself and those that you're supposed to, okay? All right, so I'm sitting here. I was talking to my bro about it, and I'm like, yo, you know, I have always get this question about the twin flame, and I've always, every time I see it, I see it as a masculine and feminine energy, all right? You're going to have twin flames that are females, which is dealing with the feminine energy, all right? Yes, the Bible says it's in this way, from glory to glory. Exactly, sis. 
Exactly. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, you know, every time I see this, this twin flame, and even if you look up the pictures of twin flame, you have a blue and you have a red, okay? We know they're still dealing with the masculine and feminine energy. They're still dealing with your yin and your yang. They're still dealing with your cause and your effects, all right? So you're going to connect. You're going to have twin flames that are feminine energy, all right? Blue plus red is purple. Yes, blue plus red is purple. Okay. That divine energy. All right. Back of dealing with oneness again. Okay. Dealing with the balance again. All right. So that's, you're going to have. Twin flames, that's females, that's the feminine energy, that's going to help, you know, build you, okay? That's, we, you're going to, we're going to help each other, all right? All right? Yeah, it's like the pink and blue, all right? You're going to have masculine energy that is twin flames, and they don't have to be <laughs> someone that we're sexually connected to. You know, you're going to mate on a uh, on a, a spiritual connection. All right, dealing with these twin flames, you are going to connect and mate on a spiritual frequency. All right, Those are the ones who are going to pull you up. You are going to pull them up. All right? Bringing in the balance within yourself and those that are part of your tribe. Because everybody else that we connect to, all right, we give them the guidance. All right? And this is everybody. You give some that's just for guidance. All right? Even though we guide each other. But some of those you're just going to guide. All right? You have a tribe. We all do. That's going to be there for you regardless. All right? You might go through some things with your tribe. But the connection you have is unbreakable. All right? It's going to help each one of us to bring this foundation to a more stable. All right? To a more firm. All right? To a more solid foundation. All right, and that's going to be able to deal with family members that might not be a part of your tribe. All right, there's going to be friends that's not a part of your tribe. Yes, a solid collective. All right, there's going to be people you mate with that is not a part of your tribe. These are going to be the lessons. All right? Your tribe is going to help you through the lessons. That's your twin flames. All right? You're going to birth a new journey. With these twin flames. All right. And it doesn't have to be. Because you're going to have people. Who are still on a low frequency. Connected. 
to their tribes. And then they're still all on the same frequency. But it's going to take somebody to turn around, all right? To push a more stronger, positive energy to help your tribe. All right. As for today, we can connect that tr these tribes, which is going on with these generations. All right. Which is going on with these generations. All right. These tribes that we've all endured. Okay. In our experiences. That we've all walked with. All the time. Alright. We have been a part. Of what has taken place. In these generations. Because the tribe failed. Alright. The tribes failed. It's not a coincidence. That these great elders. And the ones that's from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, even the 2000s, 90s and the 2000s, are on a frequency to bring forth the tribe. But see, you need the tribe first to make the foundation stable. Okay? I said probably a year ago that we're putting these, we're getting our tribes together. Okay? Because being a tribe is going to help the village. Which is the generations. Alright? We can't help a village if the tribes are not connected at a higher frequency. Now, if we go back to even touching on our children, they learn from us. Alright? So if you don't change, that energy is going to still form the way you are at that moment, okay? That child will become and form that energy. And if your tribe is the same way as you, you're not going to change either. And it's just still going to trickle down from generation to generation. That's why the awakening is taking place. Because we're waking up to our tribes. The twin flames. All right. And those that are on a more out of the Matrix mindsets, governed mindset that we built for self, okay? It's helping the shift. All right? That's the reason. Hold up, it's something that I said. That's the reason. That this energy is restarting. Okay. Foundation is going to be a new. Alright. So when we look at this twin flame. Just know. You have multiple twin flames. And I'm still building. To see how many it is in this tribe. Because I know I will get that number sooner or later. Okay. It's coming. Because I know we all have said to say. We know it take a village. To, to, to raise a. You know. A, a prominent and powerful. You know. Community. Alright. But if you don't. If your tribe is not in a connection of where it needs to be. That village is going to always fail. All right.
Okay. It was something I said I wanted to talk about. Hold on, y'all. My baby been scrabbling, scribble scrabbling on all my paper. Now she been doing the damn thing. All right. I don't know why I didn't print it out, but I just want to give y'all a vision right quick. I want you to use your mind as a telescope. All right? Blessings, bro. I want you to use your mind as a telescope. All right? <laughs> and I want you to tap into your body. All right? And when you looking into your body, I want you to see the flow of the blood. Okay, because we know blood is the energy. All right. I want you to see the flow of the blood. And to see each chromosome that it passes by. All right. But there are certain chromosomes in the body that connect on a higher frequency to keep the body at a balance, which is you being able to have an experience and you being able to produce. All right, your magic or your reflections. All right. But see the X and the Y. See it circulating through the body. It's multiple of them, X's and Y's. All right, these chromosome cells. See the ones that they pass. All right. See all the chromosomes they pass. Each chromosome is passing an X and is passing a Y. All right? That's how energy works. We're going around connecting to one another. All right? And if you don't have a firm ground or grounder, which is a part of the connection, then the frequency won't flow the way it's supposed to. All right. The blood won't circulate in the body if there's a blood clot. Okay. A blood clot is simply symbolizing something stuck. Energy stuck. All right. Same thing in our life. We get these blood clots, all right, which is a part of these X and Ys, the DNA, the chromosomes, which is some of them are tests, all right, or the lesson. We get stuck in those situations, those aspects, which create a, a big-ass blood clot, all right, that can possibly take you out. If not drained or flushed out in a certain way of letting go to bring back the balance in the blood circulation or in your experience. All right? So when I was getting the upload for the grounder, because everybody know I'm going through my teeth situation, all right? And in our teeth, we have the grinders, all right? which is also so significant when dealing with our frequency. So high blood pressure. Yep. Bringing on high blood pressure. That's the stuck. You don't have a, a natural flow, okay? And we all get high blood pressure, okay? We all get it. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have high blood pressure because, you know, certain things that we eat, you know, it can be just the energy itself rising, okay? And you have to get to a place of being cool, okay? 
or you're going to have a stroke. You're going to pass out. All right? That's your energy rising, which is really going to touch on the serpent. All right? So, you know, we got the grinders in our teeth, okay? And we speak frequency every day, all day, okay? So it comes out of our mouth. And to project a language or a sound in the frequency, you have to have the grounders, all right? You have to have the grinders. All right. And a lot of times a dentist will pull out those wisdom tooth that is a part of those grinders, okay, in the back of your mouth. And it's a reason why they're wisdom teeth, okay? <laughs> because when energy flows out of your mouth, Okay, what you're projecting out through voice, through speaking, that hits your wisdom teeth first. So that's going to be a high frequency coming out. All right. Yeah, they give you pain and they give you hell. All right. But back then, they weren't pulling out these wisdom teeth as they are today. All right. It all deals with you balancing out the energy in you. Alright? If you're in pain or you're feeling a certain way, all you have to do is think on a higher perspective to ease the pain. Okay? Or to get rid of. Yeah. I feel we can grow back our teeth. Okay. Okay. Look, I keep all my baby teeth. All right? But these teeth wasn't being pulled out back in the day as they are today. Okay? Because, of course, dentists know how the frequency works when it deals with your mouth. Okay? As I said before, I think I showed a picture a while back with the serpents. Okay? Dealing with your Kuni leaning energy. All right? coming in the snake's mouth, okay, the serpent's coming up, and the head and the tongue is coming out the mouth. The serpent's tongue. When temperature rises, <laughs> okay, and you speak forth, if you're not already creating in the mind of your subconscious of what you're seeing, you speak forth it out, all right? Which is the magic, all right? Which becomes a part of your creations. You are what you eat. You are what you speak, all right? So, I know we thought the serpent went all the way up to the crown. All right? It's connected to the crown, all right, because it has two um, grounders or grinders that's dealing with the neck, dealing with your backbone down here, your butt bone, okay, dealing with in the, the middle of your back, right here, okay, and even up to your crown, all right, which is connected to the energy, which is the serpent, which is the snake. Okay, so once the snake is intertwined together as one, the temperature rises, all right? And you have no choice but to either speak or breathe, all right? I know when we get too hot and we having them hot flashes or shit, feel like you having a, a, your, your blood pressure high, high, you got to breathe, right? You blowing and you huffing and you're puffing, you're trying to gain that that balance in your energy or within yourself to calm down. All right? Feel like your head going to explode. All right? So, back to the grinders in our mouth. The serpent, you know, comes out through the mouth. The serpent's tongue, okay? That's why these wisdom teeth get pulled. All right? 
Release the pressure. Yes. Now, if you look up the snake, it is also symbolic for, as I've been saying, the serpent, the kundalini energy, and also the penis. And yes, I said the penis. The snake and the pants. Y'all, y'all know what I have. I'm about to buy this up. The snake in the pants. All right? The garden snake. The tool. <laughs> all right? And I'm getting somewhere with this, so I'm going to let y'all know. But anyway, the penis, of course. Okay? So when we are naturally dreaming of a snake, all right? And that kundalini energy is masculine and feminine energy. Most likely dealing with the feminine energy, okay? Rising to the masculine energy, which is in the light already, okay? The serpent. So when we dream of the snake, it's a rising of your energy, all right? Or the energy is about to trans, some energy is about to transpire within yourself, which is bringing forth an elevation, you know, because you're seeing one is taking place within yourself, all right? And it also can mean somebody around the corner is in the dark, all right? Which we say is a snake, all right? Which we would call a snake. And you might see them in a dream as a shadow, as I seen a couple weeks ago, last week. As a shadow, but the light is on. Okay? So you got to understand your dreams also, not from a spiritual per perspective, but a physical one as well, too. Alright? So you know how to move. Now, when we talk about these grounders, back to the grinders, also in our teeth, anytime you hear grounder dealing with energy, it's, it's a foundation, okay? It means you need something to spark the light, okay? When you're trying to do a fire in the woods, okay? You need something that is grounded to bring forth a spark or a fire, which we will also symbolize as creation itself. Okay? Grounder is also, grounders are also symbolized dealing with the bones. Okay? Your skeleton. Your spine, the ladder, okay? Um, earth and also the yani. Okay. The yani. And the reason why the yani came up because if we see the serpent also dealing with, you know, the penis. All right. And we see the grounder dealing with the yani, which is a foundation. You need some type of foundation to create a spark, all right? That still symbolizes in our journey that we still need the male and the female to mate, okay? To bring forth reflections into the journey to having an experience, all right? Creation of life itself. Okay, the spinal cord, as we know, um, is a connection for energy, your DNA, all right? The X and the Y to your spine, okay? To create a spark, to create movement, to create life, all right? Which is going to bring forth the light, the electricity, the spark. The fire, the creation, the birthing, okay? 
which is the real reason we have sex. And out of those sexual moments, life is created. Okay? Because of the frequency of the energy of the masculine and feminine at that time. All right? And the grounders, which is such as our bones, okay, only thing that doesn't turn is the teeth, but our bones are grounders to our energy inside our suit, all right? And at the end of each experience, whenever you're ready to transition, all right, and they, family members might have a, uh, a funeral for you. Some might, you know, be um, take the the route of getting burnt. But either way, whether you're buried or you're burnt, your bones turns into ashes, which is automatically still symbolic to the grounding of the ground. Okay, you go back into earth. Which is spreading your particles which is your energy when we, you know, spread the ashes, all right? And we're still going to be in connection to this energy, whether the energy is in the suit or not, all right? You're still part of the foundation. And that's why, <clears throat> fast forward a little bit, how about that? We just fast forward a little bit. When we're having these sexual connections, all right, we have to be careful who we connect with. And I know a lot of us, well, I can speak for myself have went through many connections in my journey, you know, to gain many, the gain a lot of experiences, you know, for where I'm at now in my journey, which has taught me what not to mess with or who not to mess with or what to look out for in sexual relationships dealing with masculine energy or feminine energy. All right. So you have to be careful. And the reason why this is coming up, because, of course, we're walking into the new. So you're gaining. You're letting go and you're taking count and accountability and you're gaining the self-love and the self-awareness with self now on the frequency of love. So you're going to have to understand, OK, that you cannot just connect with any and everybody. All right. Wisdom plays in that too. And the reason why it's so strongly talked about, okay, and sometimes we might take it as a jab, but it's actually honestly going back to your energy, your foundation, okay? Like when we say, you know, not everyone's going to touch my hair. All right? Or I can't allow, I can't eat everybody's cooking. All right? You still have to deal with this same aspect when it comes to having relationships. Yes, you get to a point where you don't even have the desire to. You just want to protect your energy at all costs. Because now you gain the understanding of who you are. And your energy is so precious that you don't want it to be altered, okay? Where it's going to cause you to be caught up or stuck in a situation that you've already Mommy. learned from. Mommy. What, baby? Did I get chills, like Doritos? Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and even knowing that what we're not going to deal with this, this time around, Okay? And mommy. So when we're in the transitioning, what baby? You have that blocking and somebody's right there and then you have to talk to. 
No, I don't have it right now. Okay. So you, you're going to have to understand, you know, where you at now, or where we're at now, and where energy is shifting to, okay? Which is becoming a part of the new you. You're going to know, you're going to know now, oh, I can't do that. I can't move that way, okay? Because when you're ready to transition, that energy is going to be set here, Okay? That energy is going to be set here. Let me tell y'all something I found out. Now, I know we've been talking about planting the seeds, right? I know we've been talking about planting the seeds, right? And I wrote this down. I want to make sure I say everything about these seeds that we plant. Okay? Okay? When we are planting seeds, we're only per planting the perspectives. Right, you move totally different. You are planting the perspectives of frequency you are on. Yes, I know seeds are knowledge. But it's the level of knowledge that you're on. Okay? We've planted seeds throughout our experience, and including right now at this moment through the awakening. Okay? Over the past few years, we have been planting seeds. All right? A lot of those seeds that you've planted have started to grow. All right? And as they have started to grow, you have gotten higher in perspective. The perspective you gave them before is not the same what you got now. We have planted seeds of fear. All right. We have planted the seeds of attachments. We have planted seeds of sickness. Because seeds is nothing but the illusion that you give those. All right? Which are perspectives. All right? So now we are on a higher perspective. And those seeds that we planted before are coming up. And they got a lot of questions. Some of them are stuck because of our perspectives. All right. But sometimes and most likely it just takes a quick fix. For them to get out of that perspective. All right. I look at a lot of things that I've said in the past and be like, damn, I see, I, I can't see nothing now, but on a higher perspective or basically just outside of the experience of itself. I see the root to all and that's dealing with the energy because now I know how the energy in me move and how it moves in the experience. Now I understand the cause and effects that we put out. Okay? I understand my own demises of keeping myself and, uh, and being in my own self way and holding myself back. I understand now I can't blame anyone but self. Okay? When I used to look at color, color don't exist to me anymore. <laughs> okay? So we've planted seeds, which are different perspectives of illusions, because of the frequency we were on. 
All right. Now that we are on some high grain frequency, which is the restore, the restarting, the full circle, okay, the beginning, meeting, the end, which is going to create a new world of balance, we have the high grain seeds, okay? The original seeds, not no GMO, not no lab shit, okay? The original seeds. Our gardens were out of control. Okay, they didn't have no maintenance. We just left them. Okay, they weeded. All right. Okay, didn't have, we didn't, we didn't have, we didn't have, we didn't pay attention to none of that, honey. We just let that big old, that, that foundation just overcrowd with weeds, all right? But it's okay. Because where we're at now, we got the real seeds, okay? You had to go through the GMO. You had to go through all of those levels to gain the understanding of where you at now. Same as those seeds that we, we planted. Okay? Because if you know anything about technology or just dealing with anything in a lab, anytime you take away from the original and you create all these clones, a food, um, stocks, farms, okay, vegetables and fruits, okay, there still will be an original seed that will come through, okay? The original strand will come through. So we're at the original strand, all right? So when we transition and this energy is already planted, all right? You will be walking into the new world as well too, okay? You're already building it, all right? The shift has already started. Changes have already started. Make You know, we've already had these major changes. We're already aware of the bullshit, okay? So when you transition and you come back, you will be on a higher perspective, all right? The energy will be more balanced. Okay? You will have a more better chance in your journey this time around. All right? I've always said wherever you leave off at, it's where you're going to come back to. All right? It's just a game, as we've said hypothetically. Whatever you leave off at, that energy will be the same. And that's not just for you and your journey. That's as a whole. And even though these, these kids, they be a knuckleheads and shit, and they doing whatever they want to do, them are the wildfires, okay, of nature. They are destroying what you was accustomed to. Okay? 
They are destroying what we were accustomed to. Ain't no more bowing down to an image. Okay? You will bow down to self. You will lead by self. Okay? And them same twin flames that you connected to on multiple levels in this journey will be on the same with you. Because that's the team. Even though you walk in your journey, you have a solid team. It doesn't necessarily have to be in your family. Or as we would say, the family tree, which is dealing with your foundation. No. You find these twin flames throughout your journey. And that's in the tribes right. Yes, the tribe rises together. Ain't nobody going to be left behind. Now, I know my tribe is maybe a little shamble right now, but I see I know the higher purpose of this, okay? I know the higher purpose of this. I know tribes split up, so when they come back together, it's stronger. It's more powerful, okay? They didn't call you a black sheep for nothing. Because you are, okay? You are the ultimate light. You are the ultimate balanced one in your foundation. You are the change, okay? It starts with us. All right? It definitely starts with us. And that's the reason why we going through the shit we going through right now. It's the reason why you connected to certain folks right now. All right? Some of them might not be your tribe right now. Some of them might not be your tribe, but you helping them so they can help their tribe. All right? And vice versa, helping you so you can help your own tribe. Yes, we all living in the divine mind. Energy flow says for real. Yes. I'm telling y'all, when I get the rest of this, dealing with these tribes, which I'm starting to see just a little bit, but <laughs> shit just be coming sometimes. But this tribe is one of the most important things outside of self, okay? Yes. It's definitely going to help energy as a whole. All right? And see, some of those, a lot of those beings, you know, that are not on a frequency, 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 uh, frequency, uh, I can't get it out, y'all. What in the world? My frequency is messing up. <laughs> but they're not on a frequency that we're on, okay? They might be on a lower frequency. 
And right now, their tribe is, is scattered into their foundation. All right? And that's why a lot of things is happening around it the way it is with this energy because the foundation is going to be solid. Okay? It's going to be lit. All right? So, yeah. Going back to that revelation as well. Revelations is about you letting go, okay? The breaking down of the masculine and feminine energy, all right? The two towers had to fall. Because that's what creates a new you. That's what brings a stronger foundation. Okay? You got to get rid of those lessons. Meaning you got to get them. Okay? Stop holding on to them damn same lessons. Get the lesson. Not hold on to the lesson. Because that becomes your attachment. And it holds you down. Okay? I don't care how much history and how much time you invested. Get the lesson. Because the lesson is what's going to take you far if you gain it. Okay? Can't fly with baggage, bro. We are walking in the times of the end, okay? If they would say in church, the end in times. Yes. You have to revelate your energy. All right? And, and this is stepping into the knowing, okay? You know better now, okay? <laughs> we know better now. All right. Yes, what's the end is also the beginning, okay? Let that old you go, that old world, okay? Let it go. Let that old drama, that old hate, that old pain, that old bullshit go. <laughs> that's what's holding, that's what's going to hold you back. Yes, it do make you feel tired all the time when you holding on to all this shit you ain't got no reason to be holding on to. All right. You know by now, you waking up to your truth, okay? You waking up to your true self. You are evolving. See, revelation is all about revelating your energy, letting it go, and evolving. Okay? Why is it it's only one Bible with the same damn words? The words only evolved. But it's the same shit. It's the same script. It's the same journey. Okay? It's the same metaphysics dealing with your energy. All right? Everything has to come to an end. But not in the end to be at a standstill, but to move forward. Now, dealing with these twin flames also. Yep, the blood flow works the same way, bro. Works the same way.
Now, dealing with the twin flames, right? Your generation, the generation is 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 pumped through this. Okay, that's why I say if the if the tribe don't change, the generation ain't. Okay, <laughs> what you left behind them seeds ain't. Yes, yeah, the generator, operator, and destroyer of self. Okay. These twin flames, this tribe, okay? If it don't change, the generation don't change. The DNA don't change, okay? All that stays the same. Your family, your, that foundation, all right? You are the workers, all right? As they would say, the, the walkers in the front, all right? Everything that's dealing with your twin flame energy, including your spouse, will still be the same. So now that you've gained the keys, as they would say, which is the original C, yourself. Dealing with balance in all perspectives, all aspects. You will plant these seeds in a natural way, all right? A way that will bring a change. All right. That will shift the energy. All right. And when we shift in this energy, like I said just a minute ago, then wildfires, which is the generations <laughs> that we planted, they destroying this old world. All right? That's what we wanted, right? All right? You wanted justice. You wanted the peace. You wanted the fairness. You wanted the love. All right? So you got to destroy the old. And then it isn't it. What? Not yet. I'll watch when I get off, okay? Okay. Well, when I get off here, you can show me, all right? All right. So, it, it's not a coincidence, it's a coincidence that these wildfires, as we know, is these generations coming up. It's destroying the old, okay? Because that's what we wanted. And when energy is trying to gain oneness, okay? And going back to the beginning of things, which is the divine energy, all right? It becomes chaotic. Okay? It becomes chaotic. Because the force that's behind it will destroy all, okay? And when I mean destroy all, I mean all ways that we've been accustomed to. All right? Now the rebirth takes place within us and in an inner experience. All right? You will be reborn in this experience and as you transition and come back, which is a cycle of life, okay? You will come back in that energy. But, you know, those that's in that foundation that has not Resurrect it out of, out of there. Okay? And not let go of them, them tweeds and cut off them tweeds and, and let go of them attachments. They still going to have some of that energy when they come back. That energy still going to be here. But we're going to be able to rise above all that shit. Okay?
So when you are in connection with folks, you are going to be more careful because you're no, you're now more awareness, okay? Aware of everything, including self and the energy. You will not be even having the time to be just sleeping with anybody, okay? The extra, that extra weight, yeah. That extra weight will become lightless. All right? And just like Sis says, because you are God, okay? You are the generator, the operator, and the destroyer of this shit. All right? Of your walk, your experiences, in this journey. Whatever you generate, you operate. And you can destroy. All right? And not necessarily destroying in a low frequency way. But a higher perspective to instore, restore the balance. Okay? Destroying as letting go. All right? I'm going to talk about this and then I'm going to get up out of here now. I know we were just talking about the serpent earlier. And Medusa popped up, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, damn, you know? I never had a connection to the energy dealing with the Medusa energy, for one. But I guess it just, it fits with this. It connects with this energy. But Medusa pulls up that energy, and I see the reflection that, you know, that we was gave, you know, the illusion of Medusa with the snakes in the hair and the feminine energy, all right? If you look up the word Medusa, in Greek terms, it would mean guardian or to protect or rule over. Now, when it's dealing with energy and dealing with self, okay, you are your own guardian and you will protect self at all costs and you will rule over all which is within self. Okay, which is projecting outside in I mean outside in this journey, okay? Meaning you have all control over your reality, your creations, your existence. All right. And the serpents, the snakes are all on the top of Medusa's head. Okay. When we Tap into the energy or tap into the context dealing with the head, you know, symbolically, your head is representing the matrix, all right? That physical experience, your light, all right? The masculine energy. All right? The man's world, all right? And that feminine energy... Will connect to that snake, okay? That hair, your crown, your energy, your divine energy, all right? I mean, I'm sorry. The snake, the hair, the crown, that would deal with your divine energy. The feminine energy would deal with that physical aspect that we was given of the Medusa character, okay? As we know, woman was the first reflection. Of the first image. Okay. Woman. So. Medusa had. If you look up the story. Dealing with Medusa. Medusa had a, a, a low confidence of self. Okay. She didn't like the way she looked. Because of the snakes in the hair. All right. And she was told multiple times that was she was ugly. Look less than. Same thing that they would do with the feminine energy in the Bible. Okay? Not even the villain at all. Okay? Wasn't even a villain, but taking on those aspects and those perspectives that people projected on her, 
what she allowed to be projected on her because of the low self-confidence that she had anyway, she thought that, okay? And she made herself the villain with that energy, all right? But no one's the villain. It's all about what you create as your demise, whether it's what somebody else says, let them think. If it's not you, it don't fit, right? It doesn't become your suit. All right. And like most of us, okay, or even all of us in our journey, we have felt less than, okay, in some of these experiences, okay? But we rose up out of it, all right? By being one, okay, with the snakes. See, Medusa had to be one with them snakes, all right, to feel the empowerment of self. Acceptance, okay, to be balanced, all right, to be one with her power, to be able to walk at a more ease and complex way of power, knowing no one can destroy me and what whatever anyone thinks has nothing to do with me, okay. She had to learn that, okay, she had to become one with these snakes, all right. That's the same thing as masculine and your feminine energy becoming one within yourself. All right? Protecting your energy, being a guardian to self, and ruling over your journey, your creations, your experiences without anyone's help. Okay? And when I mean anyone's help, I mean anyone's help of demises and they fucked up as illusions of what they think about you is what they really think about themselves. Don't take on nobody else's shit or baggage, okay? It becomes. But she had to become one with these snakes. And it's the reason why these snakes is on the head, okay? Because you got to become one with this masculine energy, which is dealing with the experience. And it doesn't mean that you have to walk around with your with some uh mask on your face okay yes you have to be your own everything sis they definitely play though and we and a lot of us all of us here allow people to play us until we realize oh shit you won't you fooled me once you fooled me twice this third time which is dealing with my christ <laughs> you won't fool me again okay I don't call on to your shit. Alright? I don't call on to your shit. And I know who I am now. That shit don't faze me. Same thing with the Medusa story. She had to gain that strength of herself. She had to be one with herself. She had to accept whatever reflection. Okay? Yes, we be fooling ourselves at this point. For real. All right. So she had to gain her confidence, which is you gaining your power and rising up out of any situation. You can't allow what anybody say, okay, to hold you back, even if they think you ain't going to be shit. See, the only person that will say that you're not going to be something is somebody that ain't nothing. I don't give a fuck how much jewels, money they have. All right. To be something is to be connected with self. That money, them cars, them houses, none of that shit even matters. Okay. It's all about how I feel about self. Don't beat yourself up for the food either. Oh, exactly. Energy currency. Yes. And when you get in tune with that energy of self, then you start to attract what you've been wanting. Okay? Because now you're at ease. You're not stressing. You're not worried. Hell, I'm 40 years old, okay? And most doctors will tell you, damn, most people your age... That's around the age, as my mama would say, that's when you start to go downhill. 
See, I already had that in my mind that I wouldn't go downhill in 40s. Okay? I knew and seen and created that I would be here much longer. Okay? I didn't feed into what she said because that's what she's experienced. All right? No, I'm not going to be trickling down the hill at 40. It's all about what you feed yourself. All right? And what you speak into your existence. Remember the serpent tongue. Yes, they live for hundreds of years. Okay? I've been seeing videos now. I'd be happy to see elders in their hundreds. Yeah. Then they trickle down and try to feed you the illusion of telling you that 70 and 80 will be the average. No. Your experience is up when you ready. Remember, you be the one to tell everybody, oh, I'm going home now. I'm done. I'm tired. Okay? I said I'm going to be 100 beyond. Hey, baby. Baby. 100 and beyond. Okay, baby. To me, that's the golden years. Okay? A hundred. Back at one. Yes. These elders be looking good. Because they don't live by what society, okay, feeds them. Or most elders, okay. They don't take that spoon of medication. Uh-uh. That ain't going to be me. It's a reason why they say you got to think like you're young <laughs> and in good health. Yes. Okay, bro. You got to. That's your fountain of youth. That's inside of you. Okay. You might get some tune-ups every now and then, but that ain't your resting place unless that's what you want it to be. Okay? So, yeah, y'all. Be careful with your energy. Keep that confidence high. That's your powerful. Don't give a damn nobody thing. Okay, because energy knows we need it. Yes, that spring of living water with this, sis. Yes, and in good health. They are. Okay. Mm-mm. You've came too far. <laughs> okay. Energy as a whole has came too far. All right. Mm -mm. The reason why we was playing, it was we had to show our hands. All right. So you can fix it. And your tribe come together as one. So we can help with this foundation. Everybody tell my dad I want to come back. You're right. I don't want to come back to this. To that old shit. A struggle. Hell nah. I wouldn't want to come back either. But what we can do. It's continue to elevate.
continue to be balanced, to continue to restore the energy, okay? Shift, change. Because when you do come back, that's when you really, really get an experience like you've never had before, except from the beginning. And we've been, we ain't been at the beginning for a while, okay? It's the reason why things are falling. It's the reason why the government is failing. Stocks are falling. You can't find too much food. It's a reason. But you got to stay humble. That's the key. Yep, and these, look, yeah, love, good, health, and integrity. These, these sicknesses coming out left and right. And this, oh, this bullshit. I ain't even speaking that name, but. It's a reason. Yes, you got to burn and rise like the Phoenix bird you are. Okay? Your golden eagle. Yes, humble and true to yourself. You got to stay humble and you got to stay true to yourself now. It's the only way. That's the only way you're going to see better days. That's the only way you're not going to have no worries. Because when you know. Yes, burn this urban rights light. Okay. Because when you know. Because since we in the knowing. And because you know. You do better. That's it. That's it. And to do better is to know pretty much all. And I mean, I mean by all, that means you see everything from a higher perspective. Or what I, I, I that's not even say higher perspective. You see everything from a well-balanced perspective. You see the cons and the pros, the cause and the effects. Do all things with intentions of love and the universal law will send that energy back to you. No worries. Exactly. Fat, sis. Facts. All right? You are the love and you are the universe. Okay? And whatever you put out, in any perspective, whether it's high or low or balanced, okay? You will get back. You will get back. the reason why we call our children our world when we post them. Peace, bro. It's the reason why we call our children our world. Right. Right, sis. Then no one took advantage of you. That was your love. Exactly. It's the reason why we call our children our world when we post them on a picture. Hashtag my world. Same thing with your parents. You are their world. Yes. 
Because when you come back, you come back to that world. Okay? And whether it's going to be your new reality, your growth, it's still your generation which becomes, which is your elevation. All right? But yeah, fam, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I kind of had all my papers everywhere. I feel like I left something out, y'all, but y'all know I get it. Ooh, honey, it's, it's not good Good walk, um, writing in the, yeah, it's not good writing in the dark, honey. Oh, yeah, Maya Angelou definitely wanted me to repeat this, and this will be my closing. She definitely, it was a reason why the are still our rise, okay? We have to read this now on a more higher perspective, you know, which is going to bring in that balance, okay? Because we've gotten the low perspective, which is dealing with the physical. Mommy. Now you need to see the higher perspective dealing with the, the energy, okay? Your spirit, Mommy. your soul. Mommy, I'm gonna this in seven, okay? okay, so you can instore the power, I mean the balance into your journey, all right? The still I rise, okay? It's definitely, regardless of what you go through in your experience, you're going to fall. You are going to fall. It don't matter what lesson it is. Even if you're trying to walk from crawling. Even if you're trying to talk, okay, from the baby gaga. All right? You still will fall in many aspects of your journey. But see, in this new world... You will rise quickly. You gonna catch on to that. You gonna know. See, your children will become your parents. And that's in reality. All right? Thanks. That's, JCN always keeps me with the arts. Yes, bring it back full circle. Okay? You learn unless you fall. Okay? Well, you learn unless you can't fall. Okay? Oh, you can't learn unless you fall. You right. You right, sis. You cannot learn if you don't fall. All right? So, yes. So that Maya Angelou energy dealing with the palm still I rise, you will still rise. Okay? I dealing with as one. You will still become one with self. You will still become, in a, you will still endure a new elevation, a new journey, a new experience, a new world, a new you, a new walk, a new swag, whatever. Okay? As they would say, you got a new glow with yourself. You are going to rise. And at this time, where we at right now, dealing with, um, at this part of the um, experience, we will be falling and rising quickly. Because ain't these little kids nowadays that's coming in, especially my little top over here. And it don't matter how hard she falls, she still come up rising. Okay? <laughs> no. She still come up rising. All right? But yeah, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. I kind of went all over the place. But I'm going to have to put this back in place. Because there's something I'm on here that I feel like that I'm missing. But she definitely wanted that energy to come out. Okay. Oh. I'm going to get out of here after this one. Look. No, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to be doing a, um, a live dealing with. It's going to be called Silent Night. It's not going to be... um. This Friday coming up, because I'm going to have a, a whole nother live coming up dealing with the youth, um, this generation, this energy as we were just speaking about. So this Friday, I'll be doing that. But after that, I'm going to do a live dealing with Silent Night, and it's going to be a breakdown dealing with the Christmas symbolisms, dealing with the tree, the colors, the numbers, even down to the biblical aspects, okay? So I'm definitely going to get into else, okay? 
So I'm definitely going to tap into that before the big day. <laughs> um, so y'all keep your eye out on that. I'll let you know about that. I was just going to break down the elf, but I'll wait to then. But yeah, I will see y'all on the next one, family. And as I always say, I love, have oneness and peace with you all. And you will forever be connected with me as one. Peace.